Today, let's dive into exploring the editor within the funnel system. To modify any part of your page, simply select this button here to access your editor tool. On the left side, there is a list of elements that you can incorporate into your web page. Feel free to scroll down and explore all the available options. There is an extensive list of elements and customization options to choose from. Meanwhile, on the right, you'll observe the actual web page you are actively editing, providing the ability to customize, adjust, add, and eliminate any element at will. Pages are structured with sections, encompassing rows, wherein you will find various elements. To illustrate, consider a text element. Upon clicking on this text element, you'll observe that it is situated within a row. This row is nestled within another row, all of which are encompassed within a section containing all these previously mentioned components. When you click on an element, the settings for that specific element will appear. Every element comes with different customization options, which are accessed on the left when an element is selected. As you can see, you have numerous customization options at your disposal using this editor, your creativity is the limit. Let's focus on the different types of elements you would use, starting with the text element. This is used each time you want to incorporate text into your page. It's very user-friendly, simply drag and drop it to your preference. Just eliminate the default text and replace it with your own. For easy access to text management tools, you'll find a basic quick editing tools menu next to your text. With these options, you can alter text color and format how you wish. This menu also allows for hyperlinking to files or URLs. The other features are available on the menu to the left, which appears when you select a text element. Next, let's examine the rest of our text elements, starting with plain text. Also, we have headline elements which add titles to your page. The bullet list element, understandably, allows you to create an itemized list. The last element within this category is the content box. Consider it a highlighter, when used, it creates a row within the box where you can add other elements for emphasis. Now, let's shift our attention to our media elements. Simply drag and drop a selected element onto your page. The settings appear on the left when you click the element. To add an image, for example, just drag and drop it onto your page and search for the desired image by clicking on the image file upload icon. You can upload from your device or select from previously uploaded images under your images for convenience. Adding videos follow the same process, either upload from your device or add a link if it's hosted on another platform. There's a similar structure for audio files, which can also be added from your device or through an external source via a direct link. Next up we have a standout feature, the carousel element. This enables you to add any type of media file to a carousel to be displayed as slides on your page. Add the carousel to your page, open its settings, and begin adding slides one at a time. To each slide, you can drag and drop any element of your choice. For instance, you can choose an image for the first slide and a video for the next. That's a simple way to create a multimedia carousel on your page. Stay tuned for part 2, column layout and form elements.